Team, are you ready? Audience, are you ready? I will be narrating all the demonstrations as we go through. Team is in position. We start the clock now. Our first demonstration involves powering up the vacuum can. And we have to take some air out. You're going to see that in just a moment because right now Josh is coming out with demonstration number one, a fireball coming from fuel, oxygen, and heat. Demonstration number two is myself and Kristen showing on a spinning platform. If you go from a large circle to a small circle, you are going to make the speed go up. Angular momentum in action. Demonstration number three coming forward now is not gravity, but is in fact this demonstration, the vacuum cannon. We've drawn out that air, we're gonna puncture it. Shooting a ping pong ball at over a thousand kilometers per hour. Right now, Broadwood has got a collection here for demonstration number four. We are mixing a gas and a liquid. It's a chemical indicator indicating we have got oxygen. Moving on to demonstration number five. Look to the back of the stage. Andy Skidmore there is going to pull out the tablecloth. Demonstration number six, Josh is moving forward now. He has got liquid nitrogen and a poor, sad balloon dog. That balloon dog is going to learn about what happens when you take away heat from those molecules. They are going down there. They are slowing down. And our balloon doggy is now a chili dog. But if we add some energy from the heat and the air around there, we will find, ladies and gentlemen, Sparky lives. Demonstration number six is from one of our veterans here. That is a teacher who is shooting flaming arrows at a hydrogen balloon, Brenton Driscoll. Demonstration number seven coming forward now. Luciana is gonna show you when you mix carbon dioxide with water, you create carbonic acid. That indicator there will detect the acid. And as we begin to blow, we go from a lovely green color like our flaming balloon to a beautiful yellow. Here we go, that is demonstration number seven. Demonstration number eight here, we have got our leaf blower and beach ball. All right, demonstration number nine, we're gonna step that up one more because we are shooting our toilet paper into the air there. I'm right, looking what's happened. I've missed one demonstration, so I'm moving forward one now because we are in fact on demonstration number 11. Here we go, two balls dropped by themselves, but if we place one on top of the other, watch your heads. A ball come sailing forward. Demonstration number 12. This comes from our on the road team in Salmon Arm, Salmon Arm, British Columbia, where they're showing you a fire tornado. Free shows done all over the province now. Demonstration number 13. Luciana is pumping up our balloon there in our bottle. We have got some alcohol that condenses to make a cloud in a bottle, ladies and gentlemen. Demonstration number 14. Josh is going to show us complete combustion as we set fire to our flash paper and fuel has been burned. Demonstration number 15. We are going to cover our ears because right now we have made acetylene and an explosion. Demonstration number 16. I'm going to duck at this point because we are demonstrating potential and kinetic energy. Potential energy as we stretch back. Watch, there's a chicken coming your way. Release. Demonstration number 17. We have vibrations causing the water to vibrate. Tuning fork and water. And now moving on to our next water demonstration. It is in fact Josh. He has a cup of water, a lid that does not fit. And yet, from the power of air pressure, the lid stays in place. Demonstration number 18. Demonstration number 19 coming into place right now. I'm ducking once again. There goes our lovely centripetal acceleration tray. Demonstration number 20 coming from our outdoor stage. We have put dry ice into a pop bottle, submerged it in that water, and it will explode just like that. Time out. Okay, guys, we've got a minute 18 left and 10 demonstrations to go. <laughs> Can we do it? All right, we are gonna use this timeout to briefly remove all of the liquid from where we're gonna put the high voltage device. All right, ready team? We're starting the clock again with Demonstration number 21. We've got the Van de Graaff generator. Van de Graaff generator allows a uh, recharge to make hairs repel. We're gonna repel the hairs on the head of Angie. Angie is shaking her head briefly, and Angie is, there we go, they've gone up a slight amount. <laughs> Angie leaps down, and we move on to our second. Demonstration number 22, look at those, leaping into the air. Demonstration number 23. 
Pain, ow, spark, 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 ow. Demonstration number 24 is coming forward there. These are our friends from the University of Guelph showing things you should not do with a high voltage Tesla coil. Demonstration number 25 is moving forward now. It's another fireball done in the hands from Kristen. We're gonna drop our lick podium. We're gonna hope it lights carefully. Wow, there we go. 31 seconds left. If we go to demonstration number 26, it's Josh with the straw elbow. Excellent, demonstration number 27. Moving forward now is the launch. Action, reaction. Demonstration number 28. We are gonna make these Newton beads fly up into the air. Demonstration number 29. We're gonna launch that rocket there. Watch one, two, three. Meanwhile, while that's going on, we're getting our balloons ready there. We're gonna fall. We got 10 seconds left there, gang. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 3, 2, 1. The flames are lit. Cover your ears. I'm gonna count this as a win. It's been 30 years, it's been 30 demonstrations. Three, two, one. Happy birthday, Science World! <laughs>